Hey, you want to play Evil Land? Blind? <laughs> then let's play. So I, this game, I have not played this, um, but I have seen it all the time on Steam. And uh, I see it all the time on Steam, and I think it looks really cool, and I'm such a big fan of RPGs in general, so... And this is on sale, actually, for uh, about $3 from its usual, I think it's usually $10. Um, so this was on sale, so I thought, you know what, let's do it. And I checked it out to see what the deal was, and see if the, what the, you know, what, what the deal was, so... Here we go. You got right key. There seems to be some chest. Oh. Are we moving? You got left key. Always oh, going. What? <laughs> you got 2D movement. That's good. You can move anywhere else. You can't go anywhere else anyway. Huh. This is really interesting. You got basic scrolling. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it's, uh, what's uh, the big draw is of that it is that it's uh, basically a, um evolution of uh, role playing games. Of course, they started here with the monochrome. You know, uh, Zelda style, and uh, I think it goes to a Diablo sort of style next or something. Oh, sounds! I was wondering where that was. Smoother scrolling. <laughs> That's awesome. What is that? I want that. I want that. Give it to me. Yes, yeah, so we're doing this alongside alongside Dead Space. Um, I've heard this game is short anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hey, you got a sword. How do we attack? Not with the mouse. Oh, with E, there we go. Do we even need to use the mouse? May not have to. Okay. You got monsters, be careful not to touch them. This is totally Zelda, by the way. This is definitely the Zelda portion. Oh! Yeah, so I'm a big fan of RPGs. This game has interested me for a long time. But this has been the first time I've ever been able to, uh... Get, uh, you know... You are safe. First time I've been uh, able to play it. <clears throat> so, looking forward to this. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got a star. Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. Sure. You get the card bat. Oh, it's like a card game? Gotta catch them all. Okay, so you can't go there. Oh, cool. I love it. What we got down here? Anything worth checking out? There's another game I'd like to play called DLC Quest, where, um, which is kind of similar. But, I don't, my mouse is on screen for some reason. That way. Sorry about that. Love the music. Okay. So we're in the 16-bit uh, era right now, which is really cool. I'm gonna have the song stuck in my head. Okay, nothing down there. I'm already humming along. Great music. Nope. Save. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, looks like I don't even need to use the mouse. So, <laughs> You got storyline. That's really cool. I like this. Oh, there's another hidden star. Uh, we can't. No, we can't cross the water. Just hit that quickly. Love the music, man. I love 16-bit. I love chip tune. Oh, we're in 256 colors. Well, awesome. Oh yeah, you can tell. Yeah, so uh, it starts here with this kind of Zelda type deal, and then I guess it goes to a um, it 
this, this path. This path? This path is reserved for agile adventurers. Well, we're an agile adventurer. Um, yeah, so it starts out with a 16-bit Zelda-style game. And then I think it goes into, like, a turn-based Final Fantasy, and then I think it goes to, like, Diablo-style hack-and-slash thing. The access has been blocked by the Dimensional Stone. Try the path to the east. Free movement. Oh, cool. Oh. Duh. Oh. Oh my. This is totally Zelda, by the way. <laughs> it's cool, though. Nope, don't you dare. Gotcha. You got path unlocked. Oh, cool. Okay, what is this? You got inventory! You click on the ta icon and use tab to open it. That's all we got. So we have no gold. Those are 23, or 1 out of 23 cards and 2 out of 30 gold stars. Alright. Exploring the old world is always nice, but we have random encounters. Oh boy. We got turn based battle. <laughs> There we go. Uh oh. Oh man, this is really cool. Gotcha. You have 150 Gliss. Okay. So I guess you just follow the path. What is this? Oh, cool. Mode seven. <laughs> nice. Really awesome. Let's get this guy. Get him. How come my character has no name? I guess we'll name him at some point. Okay. Yeah, we go. Yeah, places name. You will learn the name of the places you travel to. I didn't see what that said. <laughs> I should uh, go really old school and get to one of those. USB Super Nintendo controllers, which are awesome. Chest unlocked. What is this? Village! Papunika Village. To the village! Oh, you got an NPC. <laughs> I wonder why there's NPCs. No, that's cool, it's like building a whole world, you know. <laughs> Fine. I don't speak to children. Hey, you're a children. Adults are not funny, they always complain about us children. If only I could see the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found has fallen down the well. I'm too scared to get it back. Oh, the well, huh? Well, I'm sure we'll have to do that. After all, it wouldn't be a RPG without <clears throat> side quests. What is this? You can now freely invade people's privacy. <laughs> Did you talk to children? Kefka's ghost. <laughs> nice. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. You should go to bed. Not yet. Oh, what the hell? What is with this town? I'm gonna go in your house. You got torque. Oh, cool. That's another one of those cards, I guess. Where's this freaking well? Is that up here, maybe? Oh, there's a well right there. Yeah, sure. You got secret place. What the hell are you doing in this place? Exactly. Uh, strange seed. Do you want to eat it? Yes, I do. Oh my! It's all kids in video games, anyway. <laughs> cool. So we are. Hang on. Okay. So we are a young adult, I take it. Worm. Get the worm card. So, are you. What? We won't let you pass with your current equipment? This is Zelda! <laughs> this is Ocarina of Time. Is this guy Mido or what? Come on. Well, hell, I don't. My current equipment? What are you talking about? I gotta buy that stupid copper armor? Because I got a longsword. Let me 
me just... Let me go! Oh, you are ridiculous right now. Oh, owned! Let's just work on, uh, let's just get some gold out here. Let's run around. Do some random battles. So it doesn't seem like you level up. At least not at this point. Should only have to do one more of those to get what we want. So we need to get 150. For the copper. There we go. Come on. There you go. Okay. Now let's go in here. Head up to... This way. This way. To the shopkeeper. Hello, shopkeeper. I would like to buy this copper armor. You are now ready to fight stronger monsters. Good. Okay. Now, can we go over and talk to this person? Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good to go. So, is this going to take us out? Yep. That's what I thought. What is this? Forced fight. Someone... what? What the heck is this? I heard someone calling for help. Oh my. Hey, it's my turn. Thank you. That's ridiculous. Eat them. What are these things? Gophers? Evil gophers? Get them! We have won 180. Oh my. Oh, who's this? Thank you for saving me. I need the crystal in the cave to save my hometown. Will you help me? Of course I will. By the way, my name is... Looks like the scenario is lacking proper branch gear. <laughs> uh... Karis. Cool. Karis is joining the team. Well, who am I? Oh, come on, I don't have a name. That's ridiculous. Should I use this? Oh, probably have to unlock that. <laughs> okay. Over here. You can't just go straight, straight what you need to do in an RPG, you gotta explore. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, it's weird she has a name, but I don't. She's kinda like Eris with her little staff there. Okay. So I gotta go into this crystal kind of cave and get some kind of crystal thing. Here we go. The crystal. Uh oh. We need to find the crystal. Its power can change your perception of the world, and with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed I forgot to. There we go. Clink. <laughs> uh, you know what? You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call him. Cloud. You got a name. Oh, good. Good to have a name. Okay, this place is empty. My mouse is on the screen again. Left or right. These branch paths here. Ah! Oh my. That's not good. Come on. What? How did he survive that? Get him. <laughs> really? Yeah, so we named our character... Oh, and 9 XP. Cloud has reached level 2. His attack has increased. Kreis is, or Kairos has reached level 2. Her defense has increased. We can't choose how we level up? I guess that's later. Um, yeah, so I named him Cloud, of course, after Cloud from Final Fantasy 7. Okay. What is this business? You got something happened somewhere. Okay, but where? Uh, card? Let's go ahead up. Here we go! Uh oh. Oh my. He was the crystal's guardian, but it looks like he has been corrupted by some evil power. Crystal. Sounds like a good plan. Yes. So I don't know if this game has voices or anything. 
but yeah, boss enemy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know if later on they get actual voices or anything. Oh my! But I guess we'll find out as we go along, huh? So this boss battle here. Should probably heal here. What is he doing that for? Oh, what? Phantom counter. Oh my! Go ahead and use a potion on her. And attack. And we use her magic to heal. Well, everybody. There we go. So when he does that thing, I assume you just don't attack because he's going to uh, mess you up. Yeah. Just don't attack. And we don't have any weapons. Or, uh, sorry, any, uh, more items. Oh, there we go. Boom! 420 XP. Cloud has reached level 4, his life has increased, and her life has increased as well. Good. Did we get the crystal? Oh! You got 3D mode. Awesome. The power of the crystal is incredible. Now I feel like I can fight the evil which threatens my village. But we will have to cross the Nor Noria Mines in order to reach it. Thank you for helping me. You're my hero. Well, I was glad to help. Okay, where do we go now? Here we go. This is really fascinating. Nice! This is really cool. I like this a lot. This is really neat. Five hearts. Would I be killed in one shot before, really? Oh. Okay. Pixelated textures. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, so let's step into this. We're safe. And that is going to do it for the first part of Let's Play Evo Land. I am very fascinated by this game. I am very much excited to be playing it on the channel. I have no subscribers, you know, but I do it for fun because I think it is fun. And you know what? Hey, maybe it'll maybe we'll catch on and we'll uh, get some get some people in. So that is going to do it for the first part of Let's Play Evo Land, which I'm. Is that a bow? I guess we'll find out. Which I am very much enjoying so far. I think it's a fantastic game. And uh, it's on sale on Steam right now. So if you do happen to see this, uh, go buy it on Steam. You know what? Buy it at full price, too. Even if it's full price. Because it is a great game. And I would recommend it. So we are on a journey through the time capsule of RPGs. And it is in one of my favorite eras right now. So I'm very excited. So that's going to do it for this part, the first part of Let's Play Evil Land. I'm FRG. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.